All right, guys, I'm back. So now we're gonna make some gravy. I am using just a little bit, not really a lot, maybe a half a cup of the chicken stock I made the other day. Because these croquettes, it's really just me tonight, so I'm not gonna make a lot of gravy. I am using Hodgkin's, or Hodgins, Hodgins, Hodgins Mills, non-GMO cornstarch. I have about that much cornstarch and I'm putting it into cold water. It does not have to be ice cold. It doesn't have to be, you know, ice cubes, any, anything like that. Just cold water. And I'm using a French whisk because I want to try and make sure I get all the lumps out of it. So what I'm doing is while the gravy or the au jus is what it is, is heating back there, I'm going to use a French whisk and I'm going to mix this up just kind of make sure there's no lumps in there until I get it nice and I can feel that there's no lumps in there. And then all of this is going to go into this. And it is going to make a very nice gravy. In fact, we're just going to... I know it just looks like white goo right now, but trust me, it's going to be a nice gravy. I like it very thick, which is why I added that much cornstarch. And remember, this was a really concentrated corn, um, chicken stock that I made. Look, you can already see it getting thick. Looky there. Ooh, I might be wrong, guys. I might need another one of my chicken stock cubes. So, that's what I'm going to do. So oh, that cornstarch or that chicken stock we made the other day, this is how I store it. So let's put one of these in. These are frozen, so this is gonna cool everything down. And put two in. It's gonna be a lot more gravy than I wanted. But that's okay. Like, you know, you can never have too much gravy, right? And we're just gonna keep stirring this. And wow, this smells really good, guys. I know. Not only does this smell really good, I can already smell the croquettes, which if you watch the other video, which you should have because it preceded this one, those croquettes have only been in for about 10 minutes and I can already smell them. It's interesting, my neighbors occasionally will say to me, what did you make the other night? I could smell it. Or what are you making today? I can smell it. There we go, that's a better looking gravy. Ooh, this is gonna be good actually. Let's do this. Okay, that's super hot, but wow, that is good. Good chicken stock. And that's really all you need for gravy. You know, a little bit of chicken drippings, some chicken stock, whatever you have on hand, some cornstarch, a little bit of cold water, and you just stir so that you don't get lumps. And you end up with, let's see, it's almost done, so we'll turn it off. And yeah, guys, that's what you end up with, that beautiful, beautiful gravy. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow.